Okay, I'd like to finish up question number five for the 1033 test three review. We still have two parts to go, parts C and D. So let's go ahead and look at those. Remember what we're working with here. Literal equations, formulas. This first equation, question number five, part C, asks you to solve for y. So what we have to do here is we have to get all of the terms containing y on the same side of the equation. Right now, they're apart. If I want to put them together, the quickest way to do that is to subtract a y from both sides of the equation. So what that would give me is the opposite of b y minus a y and this is equal to the opposite of D. Now, this is just sort of something that, just, just a little algebra trick I want to teach you. So many students make sign errors. It's so easy to do. I myself make them sometimes when I'm making a key to a test and I'm being careless. To try to avoid that, see all these negatives in this problem? Why don't we just multiply through by negative 1 and since this is an equation, we can do this. If I multiply through by negative 1, this becomes by plus ay is equal to d. And I've just made my life a lot easier not having to deal with all those minus signs. Just a little trick of the trade. If I want to now solve for y, I have my y terms together. If I factor out a y, in parens, I'm left with b plus a. y is by itself, almost. We have to finish by division. Undoing multiplication, divide both sides by both, both sides of the equation by b plus a. On this side, the b plus a factors cancel. y is equal to d over b plus a. Now, just a comment. If you had not gotten rid of all these negatives like I did, your answer would be opposite of D, opposite of B, opposite of A, which is a correct answer. But the way you could have made it look a little prettier at the end was by then multiplying top and bottom of this fraction by negative 1, which would have reversed all the signs then. So the truth is you could have done it at the beginning or you could have done it at the end. It looks prettier the way it is, which is what prompted me to get rid of the negative signs up here. All right, and this last example, or it's actually an equation, we're being asked to solve for C. All right, this is the only term right now that has C in it. So to get it alone, we want to get rid of this, this term, the opposite of D, and we're going to accomplish that by adding d to both sides of the equation. That would leave me with 2c on the left, my equal sign. On the right hand side I would have the term axy plus d. Remember we're trying to solve for c. In order to accomplish that we need to undo this multiplication with division. Both sides of the equation get divided by 2. My answer, C is equal to AXY plus D all divided by 2. And I'm done. All right.